The audience was the worst part of the show last night. Blessings family, welcome to another video. This is Lady B and this is part two with photo hype reviewing the intimate show with um Buja Bantan and Beris Haman. So why am I gonna continue to watch a video till the end? And at the beginning of the video, it was backstage where Popcorn met up with Beanie Man and Keisha Cole. Yeah, man, I'm very proud of our Jamaican culture. Me love it so till. So go and watch the video till the end. Drop a like, drop a share. And if, if you're new, remember to subscribe. It's a good thing to see it from early and start. Drop some little bomb at near him foot. I make him know, say, where are the tires? Don't, don't ramp with your thing. Remember, you're a real raster. You don't even eat tires, not eat lobster, and shrimp, and fish, and them things. Tires deal is straight raster food and raster business. See it? So, I remember that. No joke. So, me, the fish, the tires, where are you? Remember, you're a big giant. I don't want you to run behind the shins here. And I run behind them and them put up a jerk pan on the stage and then I call up Rasta and a woman I climb out and yeah me call Taurus and tell him that and me turn on my life and tell him that and burn him say Taurus where you are you are mad man you are big a giant we out in the world some place where they have no chance here where you do you do that you are Rasta me know you are Rasta for real so nobody do that no ramp I'm to you Taurus if you snooze you lose I'm to you so, I have to help save the artist that I want to be saved. Because probably, him just a deal with powering and now I realize, say, yo, what am I going with? Not go with where you supposed to go with him. Because people don't understand, say, go on with this, but as a rasta, you have to go so if they go so, can't work with where they are dealing. Because you are a rasta. So, despite from being friends, and being powering partners and ray when it reach certain level where it a tarnish your thing you have to cut I mean what it's saying fall back and I do my own thing and not to you understand me I say yeah so that I first thing more I say big up Taurus you understand me like all your restrain your thing and I lead I lead by Taurus I lead Zin so big up Taurus first thing that me a big you up from my brother Second thing, when you can tell me one of the worst part of the show last night, what was the worst part of the show last night? Let me see if we're not pre. What was the worst part of the show last night? When you can talk to us in a man. People, anybody may talk about them, you can talk them. You know. Come on, have a problem with them, I hear me have to say. Which fight? How are the money you talk about? Buji dancing? <laughs> no. Band change? No. The lady? Which lady? No. Macadema? No. Shirt? No. I'm telling you where spot I show. The participation of the audience. The audience was the worst part of the show last night. The audience was the worst part of the show last night. Listen, my people. The audience. The audience was... The worst part of the show last night. Now, as people go into show, one must remember, say, one have a responsibility also. It's not just the artist alone have responsibility. You know. One have a, art, a, a, a responsibility to bring on energy and bring on entertainment. You understand what I'm saying? It no matter if people old or young. Some of them was just mad boring. Some of them feel like them too bougie. 
And then pay 30,000 so them now to put up them and That was not cool. You understand what I say? All they was doing was sitting and singing along. Just a sing along. Yeah, you no. Know, when they got show worse when they pay enough money, you have to act like you pay enough money and enjoy yourself. Sexy nana. I love how you focus, you dead boy. I like that. So, the crowd was kind of disappointing. Even one at a time, me soon I go like say, Taras, I forget. Wicked. And I start to walk. And I say, I want to jump, jump, jump. Get to the movie, you understand? So, while I was watching the live last night, Taurus was performing great. Taurus' voice was on point. Taurus clean. As a Rasta man, clean. Can remember every Rasta deal with them thing different. Now, one thing I observed last night while I was watching Ramadan, big up, while I was watching this show, yeah, there were a lot of disrespectful comments about Taurus Riley shirt. Some I say I blows. Some I say him shaky. Some I say oh Rasta man fear we are blows and re re re. It sure say una just some eater, right? And it sure say only don't appreciate cleanliness. See? It sure say no foul no. How about him man? If you ask me, Taurus Riley really did clean. If you look on the cut of the man's shirt, yes, he says it's a, it's a male shirt, it's a shirt, and not a blouse, but it's a classy, star looking kind of shirt. You know, me, I got no, I said, no, I found no. Uno has some sprat. Uno has some poofta. Here why? Numerous, numerous amount of performance from one of your favorite artists them. Them pants and them body. Them pants and them bottom with the whole of them body whole of show. I don't have no problem with that. I mean, I see Uno a comment and I say, boy, pull up your pants. Hey, boy, you batty, boy, you are so your bottom. But Uno want to call Taurus shirt shaky. The man's shirt is a long sleeve button shirt with regular color. Just of some flary thing on it because of style. And the rest I show him, him, him money and I show him word. And him have a Michael Jackson glove where go perfect with the, the shirt. So how oh now that make Taurus thing shaky? Me not understand that. How? Taurus pants the on him waist. Him pants not on them bottom. Not, not, not at all. The man not have no makeup. Him not bleach out him face like you know, some of the favorite artists. So how? Oh, me, me still I wonder. Me I wonder what I say. Uno is forgot. Uno want the man to be shaky. And uno in a mental thoughts in having a. Make uno want to say something shaky about the man's shirt. You know? But you tell me say the man's shirt is fleary. Oh, Alright, what wrong if Rasta clean? That may I try. May, may I try. What wrong if Rasta clean? And not every Rasta go do like Caperton. I have a designated designer will build everything from shoes. Go. And Caperton still classy with him thing. I still put some bling in him suit them sometime. So me, me I wonder what, what the problem. When I see the man them I comment that last night, me just look on the wall of them page and know that them are batty boy. You know. I say what's them sprat out. Whop! The man's shirt they were tight. It's not a tight shirt, the man of honor. Anyway, we don't dwell too long for that. I just want to know, see. 
all of them boy there. We that we that type that last night we know so on a shake We know so on some poof to here. When I sprat the other. Yeah. Treat. Taurus Riley's performance is always good. Last night the crowd was kinda tough. It's not the usual crowd where that jump and I go on that bag of thing. So Taurus have to go in them skill set and draw them out, which was amazing. Taurus performance take a turn into emotions. Taurus had a lot of people crying last night and had a lot of fathers checking themselves and a lot of fathers feeling proud about themselves. I have a lot of fathers who don't look upon them youth or even talk to them shame about themselves. I want to commend Taurus Riley for the emotional part-time performance. It did a lot. It did a lot. It did a lot. Especially for me as a father. I know it do a lot for I do it. I know it do a lot for Steve Marley. And I know if Angel do last watch what the performance is right now, he might have break down and, yo, great performance, Taurus. Great, 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 great performance. See? Great performance. You see me? Netty big up yourself and buy some badges. Taros call up him son, 12 years old. You can see same son still a little nervous, but <sighs> Gibbons said that's a, this magic moment. That was a magic moment. That was a moment to remember. Remember him also saying he's not a perfect father. And I think there are no perfect fathers in life. Emma Mariano, big up yourself. I don't think there's no such thing as a perfect father. Especially when you're in entertainment. You cannot be a perfect father. Because you're not going to make every graduation. You are not going to make every PTA meeting. You are not going to make every football game. You are not going to make every training. You are not going to make every church visit. Yeah, yo, as entertain all your family, them with dead. And you can't get for the funeral. The most you can do is send money. It's just the truth. There are no perfect fathers, but especially in entertainment. It's just the truth. When I entertain, I choose a woman as him wife. I said, this is my wife. She has to fully understand already what comes with being an entertaining father where do entertainment as opposed to a father where do nine to five I come home every night. It's like you are married or an army pilot. When a woman married an entertainer, it's like she are married an army pilot. When duty call, duty call. When them call and say, yo, the plane here, I forgot to fly over Saudi Arabia, you know. What you gonna do? When them call and say, yo, the plane here, it need to fly out Africa. When them say, yo, the plane here, flying over England, you have to go. You have to go. So we can't be the type of father where I got always did it. Because if we feel always did it, we got always broke. And here I got always hungry. And we got always can't help do nothing. And your mother got always say we are what this father. Just for that. But one thing we can tell you, we got always gone on the road. So, fathers in general have to pick them wife wisely. We have to pick your wife ten times wiser as an entertainer. It's not easy. You understand? Okay, yeah, I don't know. Say last night, all one year straight in the Sifim pit. You think I joke something? I not joke something. Sometimes by you reaching your pit and sleeping, you can't wait them. And you have to pack your suitcase, not even pack, throw things in a suitcase and cut again. 
No, but of course, Twitch, every woman know that, say, selectors are the best men in the world. Because selectors don't cheat. Me not cheat. Twitch them not cheat. That's something where we take pride in ourselves with. We don't cheat. You understand what I'm saying? We have multiple relationships, but we don't cheat. Cheating off a little boy. Big sexy trucking, what go on? Yeah, select and cheat, we don't have time for this or something. Eh? No, it's the same thing for females in the industry, you know. Then all the backup singer them now, we sing for Juna Gang them or sing for Steve Marley or sing for Burris or sing for Eva Cranium them. Them can't stay them yard, them now in life. Cause anyway, the artists have got them after that. Bless all the child like this by badges. You understand? I just the truth, eh, Mariano? You see me? Yeah. So, Tyrus Grave gave an amazing performance last night. And we love it. Vocals are on point. Tyrus Riley is a five-star performer all the time. So, after Taurus, before we get into the next performance, I want to pick up an artist where they had a show last night and was very active and in him lucky place, left the venue a couple of times and come back, but he had to jump the fence to reach back in and he jumped the fence all the time. I want to pick up Dexter Dabs. More big up Dexter Dabs, see? Dexter Dabs. Out of all of them young artists here. Out of all of new generation of artists them. And Dexter Dabs alone, me see, come to school and active. At school, me have to big up Dexter Dabs for you pay attention to the greats. And that's why him so great. That's why Dexter Daps is one of our best performers. Gandhi a legend, man. Gandhi no need no lesson for off it. Do nothing. Dexter Daps was very active until the show was done. Dexter was over there and him never shame for type and big up Bujo and big up Berry Sun. Them something there. We, we artists, them need to start, start free up. I don't want to rush the show. Anyway, big up Dexter. Real to you going with last night. See? Next on stage was the biggest artist alive in our culture. The right honorable Barry Salmon. When Barry hit the stage, big applause, big applause last night and thing for the entrance of Barry. This time the show changed up. The first song was a collab with Barry and Buju. Me never think Buju ever come on. Swear. I didn't think Buju were going to come on. Um, Buju run on in I'm red suit with him black shoes and open up the place and them reason. You can see the father-son relationship with Beris and Buju. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a thing like Buju is very protective of Beris if you notice. And Beris has shown you, say, I'm your little son. And then Buju has said, Beris has said, quiet, let me talk, man. And I must say, all right, my dad, what do you say? You know, it's like the label, if you notice one at a time, Buju has tried to drag Beris off the stage. He said, go on, go rest now, that man. And Beris now want to move. Buju is very protective. Be Buju is very protective of Beris. Very, very protective. You know what I mean? So, there's a chemistry there. Barry Snow on the other hand have so many hits. Oh my God. The ladies were going crazy for Barry. I wouldn't trust Barry. As a younger youth, I even ask Ken them and Joshy them and fully bad them and them nothing trust them woman around Barry. Me feel like 
I want to do a survey one of them there. To see how to Beris or Dexter which one the woman them love more. Because to me, something serious is going on. I don't want to vote. To see either Beris or Dexter which one of them the woman them love more because Beris look like him dangerous. You know? Beris look like him very dangerous. <laughs> Flower Bam ball out Beris. Someone sexy brand for ball out Be Oh God, why me do this? Why me do this? <laughs> why me do this? <laughs> why me do this, Father God? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, where's the super in the play? Anyway, I cannot find any fault with Barry's performance. Me find a fault with the crowd when Barry's a sing. Let me repeat myself. I cannot find any fault with Barry's performance. I find a fault with the crowd during Barry's performance. One at a time, the crowd go and let them get restless when Barry's at work. You know, I mingle one of Barry's songs, they see like the crowd I get kind of, you know? And then Barry's draw for one of them songs, they have a little dance all kind of beat to it. And the whole place keep up again, boy. Oh, in a 40 pieces. Me not lie, me disappointed in the crowd last night. For the people who did that, who don't deserve punishment. You understand? The crowd was a big problem last night. On a lame. Me go on a 30% of that angel. Me not lie, me not lie. Yeah, on a big man level, the crowd lay him last night. Zin, the crowd get a... Um, I wouldn't say F, but them get a C. Yeah, they get a C or, or a D or a C minus. Yeah. Never, the crowd was very disappointed. Ali in paradise, big of yourself. So, them have a collab where, remember, said Barry not sing half time song, them yet, you know. Remember, said Barry sing last night, well, he, when he sing half time song, yet, you know. And, me not lie, me surprised, say, when Boudreau done him, said, Barry is still there and still weak. I remember how long he did there before in performance. Then he performed for long. And then when Buju had performed, he come back. You understand what I So if the crowd tired, what do you berries do then? Because when I say crowd tired, what do you say berries do? Berries are big man for you all around in there. Me not take no excuse. Me not taking no excuse. The crowd could have do better. The crowd could have do better. Member say, one at a time, when Bujo and Barry said do the collaboration, and Bujo are telling him easy. Stop it jumping. But he can't help it, can't match Bujo energy. So Bujo had jump and Barry said jumped. And me I said, Uncle Barry's member them bone they carry whole heap of age, you know. Remember a whole heap of running and jumping them there past the stage, Barry Smith, I beg you. Easy me done. And him still a jump. See, that woman says she's a woman fall asleep after Buju fifth song. So then, when Buju run up on the stage you now, different red suit, because he must send a message to Andrew, you know. He must send a message to Andrew Owens and be of for the Akompong Maroon Town. Chief Curry and the whole team. Children don't really know our grand people. 
Buji not too into the government. But because he might try to walk a straight line kind of and thin ice. Then still I watch the gargamel, you know. Because me have some little thing with Cho. I true me I say, yo, I know him the panty nice, but Cho, man. Yeah. So, would you send subliminal message to them, you know? Full red and red and white, you know? Spangas for life, but we don't intend to switch. Spangas for life, but we don't intend to switch, yo. Them for no. Happy NP run the road. Yo, the month, when, since we there, so the month, uh, Buju, when I sing last night. Anyway, Buju Bantan entered the stage, sing the song with Beris. Beris exit the stage. Buju Bantan start him set, the live chip out. Everybody turn idiot, carry call me a ball, bands of angel. If I saw this, I go work for the night. Me get me nervous, me a tremble. Be a people about it. Next thing more, I'm telling you, about you. Berries. I two party me go last night. I mean, I end up going to night party them, here. Me drive, got the party on a ice cream Sunday. Sit down in my car. I me see him close them from last night, me have any. To all my becks in Cause last night, me wear the clothes them. I'm mean, not going on a night party them. By the time me, if you go on a party, party done. By me drive to the next party, it's done already. Ask, ask Google Mental. So me reach an ice cream Sunday and park up. And I say me a wait for the performance, it's done. If you go on an ice cream Sunday, ice cream Sunday done left the performance in a bit. So, anybody here saw? Can tell me how much song Buju Bantan sing last night? Can anybody here give me an estimated number of how much songs Buju Bantan sing last night? Eight song. I block you for that. You shouldn't say that. I got block you. What do you say? Black heart? She said eight song. Black heart? What do you say? Black heart? Somebody said eleven. Now which one did I watch? I talked about the show last night, you know. How much song Buju Bantan sing last night? Juliet Flawless, big up. Flower Bomb said 58. That's so unclose. Somebody said over 50, correct. Have to be over 50. To the young youth, them. Which 35, them, man. To the young youth, them. Them say no black here, give a chance. To the young youth, them. We set them around the place. We set on our top artists. When you realize that Buji Bantan have a segment, we him not pull up no song, one right into the next. We not talk about the medley, you know. We are talk about one song done, him go right into the next, right into the next, right into the next, right. We don't pull up not even one I sang them. When you realize there are two separate reggae segment would you go in the last night? When you realize say, even when Beris come on you know the ending of Buji performance and leave Buji still come sing murder and, and, and the next one the, um, and the next song when you know how much song where Buji could have sing when I sing, remember tap a tap na sing, and remember boom bye bye na sing, remember. Well, every bad man must get rich. Spangers for life, and we no intend to switch. Remember, I'm not singing with nothing too small, with nothing too deep, nothing with underpants, and nothing with brief. That, that na sing.
Him just think I have to ride this like motorbike. Zoom, zoom. A whole heap of song, but you not sing, bro. Yeah, he did driver. All right. You know, I don't put your beat in the bad. One at a time, you know, ball for driver, you know. You know, ball for driver. I say, you know, sing next driver. Driver away. Look how much the driver drive away. Adapt me, I tell you. Adapt me, I tell you. You know how much song would you not sing? Would you not sing Magic City and them something there? So me just have try say for them young youth, you know. Whereas you sing a song and see two light a flick on say dash. Give me the next thing. When you, when you realize what going last night? When you realize say, when you put a hype say, when you not ready. Some people we are mark you know, pan some little minor performances. When me say only not ready, are because me used to that level of performance. Yeah. That's why me say only not ready. Me can't say only ready. Be span media media mediocrity. Like when you are mediocre, when you're good on a mediocre level, I cannot say you're ready. Sell salt. Sells Atlanta big of yourself. No, when I say Baba, I mean, I compare them to Buju. But they get offended when somebody like me would have said, Yo, you're not ready. Because you, you get a cup of fire with a Sans or a cup of fire with a BRT or. No, bro. If you're not dominate Sting on a major level, if you're not dominate some fest on a major level, you not get my ratings, brother. If you don't come take a best of the best. The New Jersey Park show them I used to keep. If you don't tear down an Irish Jamboree, brother, you know, or you tell me, say you ready. If you don't go up and welcome to Jamra Cruise, go take his shoe out on the deck. Or you have to tell me, say you ready. And warm if you say you ready. To please your ego. No, me not going to lie to you. I am a professional. I'm not going to tell you that to make you feel better about yourself. You're not good, brother. I have two little songs of play and things that mean say you're ready. Oh, you're going to represent the culture on the major scale of that me I talk about. You understand what I say? So, enough of the youth, them eight pounds and oh, put out them bad minds, them boys, they don't want to see youth have nothing. We want to see you have it, but we want to see, see you have it the right way. We want you to dominate the right way when we say, yes, you're ready. When you hear a footer, I say, him ready. That means Jamaica in a good hands. What I try to understand? Only young youth do not represent on yourself. You do represent the brand called Jamaica, which is the biggest brand on the planet. Me can't take mediocre and say, only ready, sir. How that work? I can't do that. I can't fucking do that. So because you go around and look at a corner show and get too far with everybody around this and know you know your son. So. Oh! Me glad somebody asked about Valiant. Somebody need to call Mari. Royal. Kerry, we need to get a number for Mary. Zin, you know Mary was saying, no, you are not the father. We need to do a paternity test for Luke D and Valiant. Who knows if you Luke D and Valiant father? About 60 had song last night. If me, if me talking at the medley, it might Buju have a segment to him never pull up no song. Marie Lil 22, big up. Buju's performance. I don't know if you see it, you know. You know, so one time Buju that cry on the stage, right? Buju never stop and cry, you know. But during transition, he was crying. When did you see that? I don't know. I don't never notice.
One night and you see sweat it mixed with tears, you know. He was crying one at one at the time. But people remember me alone I watch my, my, my phone, you know. Some people they feel like a sweat or he was crying. You know why I feel bourgeois cry? I'm put my foot out that way. I keep stretching my foot. You know why I feel bourgeois cry? Stay a shots. You're going with. What a way you can pump it to your gym and make you atta, 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 at. What a way you feel with the shake them. Hey. Spice better find your shop. Anyway. Buju performance get emotional away. You understand what I'm mean, saying? I'm mean, like how last night Buju give Wayne one of them flowers. But still leave the question, Buju. Why was Wayne one of them not on a tour? In the on your first show at stadium. And then I mean, see him on the night tour them. And then I show him take a whole heap of planning. Why is Wayne one of them not on the show? If, if we ain't want to create this, this bridge from your poverty to your success there, they must keep nothing and we ain't want to not on it. Unless him don't want to be on it. You understand? So, that is a question for Gargamel. Gargamel ain't no need to do a live with you though. Gargamel, I can't, Carlisle, I need to do a live with the I. I notice you don't want to give my program the big look. But when you go on a friend, call it big look all the time. I see you go on at 97. I see you go on Power 105 and join the live. So I'm to your friend, put a hive. We used to roll the drive in the same car. We cook food all the time and eat around at the studio. Bojo, I have questions. I need answers. Why are you treating a friend like this? I've been asking for this live interview from you just come from jail. What happened, brother? What happened? I and I have questions. Ghost Rider, what is happening? Talk to me. Need to coach you. Ask Bujo. Why not keep it real? Put a eye. Remember the same time them ate him, them ate me. And I stick with Buju till him come from prison. Come from prison, I go around there, them lock gate pan I. The gate man who locked the gate wasn't even there during the ten years when Gargamel never about. It's me and Marcus and the youth them. It's me spend thousands around there. Make sure everybody eat food and we have joke and we have drinks and we have things. Buju, I don't like it. I need a meeting. Somebody got to get a beating. Gargamel, report. We need you on this live, yeah. Don't hold out against your brother. I come. You know, we insured like Ganko. Yo, bat the boy on the runway. Me and Buju don't like you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, people, you know, I love the fuckery. <laughs> Yo, I want to love fuckery so bad. Good, good, good. Yo. <laughs> Yo. I want to love the trouble, sir. Yo, I want to love it. I go out fuckery, you know. Yo. I want to stop it in a dog. Yeah, and if you start the fucking style. But you am a general, I want to know. And Budgie used to power every day, I used to run a Budgie studio. Budgie, they are pissing on me, run there for the whole 10 years. I want to hear. Me and Ghost. Be a man, jump ship and disappear. So a man never come look around that Marcus, alright. Me and that man, I always check up on Marcus, I always try to keep him in line and make him know, say, don't do that and don't do this and don't do that. I miss you when Buju forward my girl and them and them lock it for me. I can't all know me hurt. All know me hurt. All know me hurt. My best Buju, I tell you the truth, I have up that in my heart. 
The gate man locked the gate for me. And tell me, say, Bujin is there. You don't have to tell me, Bujin is there, Bujin. For you see me open the gate. Make me come in, come see, say, Bujin is there. Foreign me fly from, I got check, Bujin. And when me there 10 years, when me run a yard 10 years, you know, if me want a key for the gate, I get it, you know. Because everybody jump ship and gone, you know. And now, Bujin come back, me get locked out. No, sir. My earth. <laughs> me Kayawiki, go on. <laughs> Zimmy. Miss DNT D. Buy some badges big up. Zimmy. Remember. Remember me, if you bad up all someone and run them out of Bougie Yard and be a thing. At the time Bougie there, me, I will have the yard. Me, I act until act in cut. Wicked ninja kid around there till him cut. Me, did the right shoe. Right to my backs, people who are my shame. Look at how you get and them lock me out. Me? Vex. Vex. Curry time, me can't stop. I've taught the truth. I've taught the truth. My vex. My earth. And me, I want to the guardian of the yard when, when Buju gone. Morally, I me have to help make sure say me instill certain things in my new brain. Cause the whole of them and them cut and gone. I tell me, I tell you know, mega vic 95 bad badges. Everybody cut and gone. People that we used to come round, they come whole beard, then gone. The more budget they are jail, and the more they gone. The more budget they are, and me they are right too. Right to enough of them turn them back for Marcus. Them they go check if Marcus alright. Them not go look. I'm around every day. And them lock me out when people are two days I go around there. You know. And I tell Lana, you know. I say, Lana, me? And she said, no man, Mark must not know. Because she called Buju Mark. She said, no man. I say, me, me hurt my musk here, so me come at the gate and them lock me out after the normal man they come there. And the hottest man from the planet come there. You see me? And the man they used to take care of the yard. Remember, two men were invaded in a budget business mood. that said, Marcus, give me a key. And cut a key. You see me? Me hurt, I know me feel away. I'm not telling a lie. I'm not lying. Remember my war with Marcus around the Marcus vice, vice gauge. Gauge that talk about some licking and suck. Me say, mad. You can't vice that in there. That can't put out. Marcus, I want to you. Gauge can't come back around. I'm going to chop him up. Fine if he come back here. Me say, look for your father while him. How you sit on it now, Marcus Gavi and uh, Silas here. Me say, how you think this bill of righteousness? That can't put out. Me know about gauge around here. Someone will laugh. I kill me out to kill the whole yard. Laugh. Oh, they wanna laugh, bro. Pussy, you see nothing for laugh, bro. I not tell Marcus to them the care of vice around here. Bad up the whole yard and me, you hold certain disciplinary yard around there. And me see me flying from foreign. My G Gaga Melan, and me go check him. Gate man peeps at you, quarter and eyelid. Me I say, oh, him now see me through me now, camera. Come out of the car. And say, yeah, man, I put a eye. DJ in there. So, so what me get DJ now for there for me come here? What me get? Brother, you're deaf! DJ in there! <laughs> so me here talk to brother? But you're deaf! Don't need a chat in here, DJ in there. What gone? Shame. Next day. DJ is still not there. I just fly out. I go straight to the airport. Shame kill me, my cut. So, anyway, great show. Sting, great show. Burner Boy show, great show. Extravaganza, great show. I love how the culture come back, people. I love you, know. You understand? Enough respect. That was the review part, second. Out and about. Bring up yourself. Clap it, clap it, clap it. Yeah.
paz y en masa. This is the youth is 12 year old. Wow. Before we go no further, well, I, know, I want to say sincere condolences to some of our musical family. Condolences. First of all, Mr. Lawrence and Mrs. Lawrence. Yeah. You know him as I do and you. We're sending all prayers and strength for I do and you in a rough time. Mm -mm. I don't know if you think that we have rough times, but we don't know rough times. That's true. Rough times. Rough times. And next, sincere salute from the heart to my big brother, Mr. Steve O'Malley. Yeah. Joseph Mercer was my virgin. Wow. So it gives me great pleasure to be here on stage with my son. Jesus. Because I know we won't be here forever. Amen. But while we're here, we're going to give it to our best. Yeah. You ready, my boss? Hold on, just get yourself, touch your guitar and feel nice. Relax yourself. Give me some more that first, no? Oh, oh my God. Wow, wow. So I'm going to sing a special song. I'm making him going to play it special. Ready? Anytime you're ready, Marina. Oh, <laughs> 